Hello everyone. Today we'll be installing WordPress on our hub hosting account and as you can see we've already opened the welcome email. We'll begin by clicking on the link for the account management panel also known as AMP. We'll log in. and here you can see the hub account management panel. We'll click on the link for the cPanel control panel. And here you can see the hub cPanel control panel. We'll scroll all the way down to the bottom to the software services section and we'll click on the icon for the Softaculous Apps Installer. We'll click on the Install WordPress button. And here you can see the Softaculous Apps Installer. This is the form we'll need to complete in order to install WordPress. The first thing we'll do is select a protocol for our site. We'll select the W version. Domain, the domain name listed is correct. Directory, this is an important form field and we would like to use WordPress as the content management system for our entire website. To do so we need to install WordPress into the root and therefore we would leave this form field blank. If we wanted WordPress to be the content management system for only part of the site, for instance the blog, then we would put the directory name here, blog or whatever name you wanted to give to the directory. But for our purposes we'll be leaving it blank. Database name, the default is fine table prefix, the default is fine. Site name, we'll give our site a name. We'll call it NCM test site. Site description, we'll give our site a description. Enable multi-site, as we only require one WordPress installation we'll leave this box unchecked. Admin account, we'll use our email address as our username. Admin password, we'll paste a secure password. Admin email, We'll use our regular email address. Select language. We'll leave English as the default. Limit login attempts. This is an excellent plugin that I highly recommend. It helps to thwart hackers, so we'll check off the box. We'll also take a look at the advanced options. Disable update notifications. We're going to leave that unchecked as we would like to receive updates of WordPress and plugins. Auto upgrade. We will check that off as it is a time saver for WordPress to be automatically upgraded. Now if you'd like the details of the installation emailed to you, including the username and password, you simply enter your email address here. In either case, the next step is to click Install. As we can see from the progress bar, WordPress has successfully installed. We'll click on the administrative URL 
so we can log into the WordPress dashboard. We'll log in. And here you can see our new WordPress dashboard. From the left hand menu we can control all aspects of our new WordPress site. To create a new post we can use the plus new post link. Here we would enter a title for our post. Here we would enter the content and then we would click the publish button. We won't be creating a new post today. We're going to be taking a look at our new WordPress site by using the visit site link at the top of the dashboard. And you can see that WordPress has successfully been installed. This is our new WordPress site. This is the default Hello World post. You can delete it using the dashboard. If we'd like to change the look of our site, we can select another theme for it also using the dashboard. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and invite you to visit NCM Online for web hosting reviews, coupon codes, and more.